Okay, we have another half-life problem, and this is going to be another application of decay functions. We have half-life, but here's what half-life can be used for. Half-life can be used uh, for carbon dating to figure out how old something is. That's what we're going to do here. So we're given that an artifact that we found has 1.23% of the original amount of carbon-14. So we determine that we have that. The half-life of carbon-14 is 5,600 years. They want us to use this information to tell an approximate age of the artifact. So because we're still dealing with half-life, half-life again has that special K value. The K value would be your decay constant. We're going to use the information provided here. Uh, we're going to use 5,600 years. So we're going to do negative ln2 is part of your formula over 5,600 years. Now, if you put this into a calculator, again, your calculator may display a scientific notation. I talked about the previous example, how you can convert it and change it over. So, assuming that you've watched that video, we know that our answer is going to be negative .0001. That's going to be our K value, and that would be our specific decay constant for this problem here. Okay, uh, now keep in mind there are going to be other numbers that come after it, but in this class, again, we're just rounding our answer to the nearest uh, four places. So I'm just letting you know that if you had all the decimals in your calculator and you, and you do the whole problem with more decimals after this, you're going to get a little bit better approximation and your answer is going to be drastically different than the one that we have here. So my answer I'm going to come up with is only based on the fact that we're using four places for our K value. So, knowing that, let's move on. Uh, when you're, we still have our same formula we've been using throughout this whole section. We have A of T, A of zero, E to KT. This is the same formula for both growth and decay we've been talking about before, and we're going to use it on this one. Now, information that we provided. We don't know the initial amount that we're starting with, so we're going to leave that as A of zero. I have E to the K, so K, we have this the negative 0 0.0001, and then I have T. So that takes care of this side. Now, we don't have any information about the current population, the current amount that you have. We don't have information for that either. However, we are given this fact that the artifact contains 1.23% of the original amount. So if A of 0 is the original amount, that means the amount that I'll be left with is going to be 1.23% of that original amount. So we're going to take 1.23%, uh, we're going to change it into a decimal. You move the decimal place two places over to the left and you get 0 0.0123. So for here, for the, for the current amount, that's going to be 0 0.0123 of the original amount that we're starting with. So that's what we're going to represent this here. This is going to be, we don't know what the original amount is, but what I am told is that my current amount is going to be 1.23% of the original amount and I have that here. So I have A of 0 on both sides from the way I set this up. So you're allowed actually to cancel uh, both those out. That would be a constant. We'll drop both those. So now the problem turns into this point, 0, 1, 2, 3 equals E to the negative KT. So again, we have, that's our K value we found earlier, negative point zero 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 one T. We, ne we want to solve for the time, and that's going to tell us the approximate age of the artifact. To do this, you're going to take the natural log of both sides. So I have the natural log of 0 0.0123. I'm also going to do natural log of this side also. And when I do that, the L and E are going to cancel. That's why we want to put an L on both sides. You get natural log of 0 0.0123. And that's going to equal just the exponent part only, negative 0.0001t. And then you're going to divide both sides by the k value. Okay, so you divide both sides, we actually don't need the t here, just divide both sides by the number only. So if you divide this by the number and you divide that by the number, what will happen is you'll get an approximation for time. And when you do, you're going to get about 43,982 years. So this is the uh, amount rounded to two places, 43981.56. Now again, keep in mind, if you used a different value for k, if you expanded that out and had more decimal places, your answer is going to be drastically different from here. But again, this answer is based on the fact that we're using the k value exactly to be negative 0.0001, not with the more decimals afterwards. So this gives us an approximation for how old the artifact is. Again, we're, it's roughly about uh, 
43, 44,000 years old.